Yo guys, what's up? Bob here. So today we are going to to check out Mangia Linux. It is a bunch of developers from Man from Mandriva who switched to Mangia and then they made this Linux distribution. So it has GNOME, which is really nice because I like GNOME, and it's not GNOME three, which is even better. So for internet, it has Igana something phone soft, epiphany, instant messaging, which is not that great, but it has epiphany web browser, evolution mail, Firefox, network sensor, desktop viewer. For office it has li li liberal office, which I actually prefer open office because I'm used to it, but hey. Okay. For graphics it has GIMP, image viewer, F spot, ink inkscape or something. For graphics and I mean for sound and video, I wonder that one of they have the same icon. Kind of confusing, but it has audio CD extractor, cheese Kino, which is a video editor, movie player, Pulse Audio, Riven Box, which is really nice, sound recorder, and TV time television viewer, which looks pretty neat if you have a TV card, but. I can't test. I don't have a TV card to test it out, but I'm assuming it works pretty good. And for tools, system tools, Mangia Control Center, CD, DVD Creator, Disk Analyzer, File Browser, Log File Viewer, Login Screen, Net Applet, Network Center, Pulse Audio, Preferences, System Monitor, Accessibility, On Screen Keyboard, Orker Screen Screen Reader and Magnifier, Archive Manager, Presto Disk Burner. Uh, calculator, color profiles, G edit, live install to install the live disk, which I'm using right now. Passwords and encryption keys, searcher files, terminal screenshot, documentation, and the software center. Let's check that out. Now, since this since this is a new distribution, the repository is still very small. So, as you can see, but over time, since this has only been out for I think less than a week actually. Don't expect to have a tons of applications already in the in the repository. But over time, when this when this distribution becomes more popular, it will definitely have more applications in the repository. Right now it just has the main basic, the most the most popular applications in it. Doesn't have any games yet. Oh yeah it does. It has X board, um I don't know half these games, but software manager is pretty nice. Okay, so let's check out the control center, which is right there. So for software management, install, remove software, update your system, configure media, configure update frequency, hardware, browse configure hardware, sound, configuration, set up graphical server. Configure 3D effects. Let's check that out. I have to install something. No. Um, set up keyboard layout, set up mouse, set up scanner, set up printers, the job queues, set up UPS for printer, uh, for power monitoring, um, network center, set up new network interface, remove a connection, proxy, share the internet. Um, host definition, system, authentication, manage. Just the basic stuff you're going to need to configure your system, pretty much. For network sharing, has Samba, I believe, on it already. Yeah, it does have Samba, which is really nice. Oh, it doesn't have to install it, but it has the shortcut already in the, in the control center for it, so that's good. Local disk, manage disk partition, CD, ROM drive, um, share your hard drive partition. Security, set up personal firewall. Um, what kind of servers like then that connect to? So, yeah, it's really good firewall. Parental controls, which is neat. Haven't seen that in that main Linux distribution before. So that's a cool feature. And for boot. Which I'm assuming will set up GURB. 
no bootloader found. And this is the live CD still, so. Yeah, just basic stuff. So, it does have Firefox installed. And Firefox version is. version 4.01, which I believe is the latest, or. yeah, I believe it is the latest. So, um, stay tuned for the other version of it, which is the full DVD version of Mangia Review coming up soon. Probably later on today, because it's still downloading the, the BitTorrent and everything, so. Yeah, and then after that, I'm probably going to do a KDE version of it for you KDE fans and stuff. So, be sure to subscribe, comment. Peace.